Let's take you on a quick tour of tools that help organizations track items that used to live in a spreadsheet and were moved over to AppMaker. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. Our first app is an internal store, which is a portal that allows members of an organization to order items like a computer for a new hire, stores those items in a shopping cart, and also sends a notification that the store has received your request. The app also provides a different interface for the folks helping process the orders, assigning them tasks with a status and a unique ID. Upon marking a task complete, an email is sent back to the person who ordered the computer that their order has been processed. Our second app is a training hub, which allows users to create learning paths by creating a new class, categorizing it by topic or level of complexity and then adding assets to the class as links such as Google Drive folders, YouTube videos, or a Google document, which are also great ways to keep training up to date rather than sharing attachments of every new version. Learners can search for classes via the search bar at the top or visit them as links outside of the hub, such as in an email or on an onboarding page. And once in the hub, they can filter by my courses, my assignments, or my completed classes. Our third app helps create and process travel approvals. Users can enter their destination, their dates with date validation, and the total cost for travel and our housing, which then kicks off an approval request that is stored in a queue, and the approver receives an email. Requests can be filtered via the travel request dashboard, and upon being approved, an email confirmation is sent to the person who made the travel request. Our fourth app, is a project management tool that helps teams create project milestones with subtasks that are assigned to different members with specific due dates and assets attached. It also provides built-in dashboards that show the overall status of the project and groups the tasks by priority and task type. It also allows the team to search across projects or filter tasks more granularly and sends email notifications to assignees. The fifth app is a document approval workflow portal that allows users to create a request, for example, to their legal team to approve a document before publishing it. The UI includes a user picker widget, which allows requesters to search for people within their directory by typing the first letters of their name and then selecting the user from the list of recommendations based on the internal user directory. A final example I would like to show you is a partner or vendor directory that displays key information on external third parties. This is extremely useful if you work with external organizations and want to track assets like contracts or search for their general contact information or just the individuals that work there and their titles, like a phone book. Make a note that these six apps are examples of highly advanced applications in order to show you the art of the possible. You can presently find them as templates that you can clone within AppMaker once a G Suite admin enables Cloud SQL for the entire domain. However, we recommend to first start with very simple examples from the AppMaker tutorials in the documentation, which are linked in the description of this video, and then graduate to these more complex template apps. And to recap, there are many apps that can be built using AppMaker that help keep track of different processes, such as building dashboards for projects or products, simple approval workflows for documents or travel, helpful human resource apps, and financial reporting and modeling. Hope you found this episode helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Cheers.